Princess Eugenie's wedding photo may have finally revealed the truth about an apparent family feud. Princess Eugenie of York married Jack Brooks Bank at Windsor Castle on October 12, 2018. Once the ceremony at Street George's Chapel was over, members of the family joined the bride for her official wedding photos. As a result, it appears that one of the snapshots has revealed an interesting truth about a supposed decades-long royal feud. Eugene is the youngest daughter of Sarah, Duchess of York and Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip's third child and second son, Prince Andrew. The 28-year-old is currently ninth in line to the British throne. However, she will move down one place with the arrival of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's child in 2019. Eugenie was born on March 23, 1990 in London. She studied English literature and art history at Newcastle University. As she is further down the line of succession, she does not receive money from the royal family. The princess currently works at the Hauser and Wirth Gallery, where she was made director in 2017. In January 2018 Buckingham Palace revealed that Eugenie and Brooks Bank were engaged. They had been in a relationship for several years after meeting in Switzerland. The couple married at the same chapel where Harry and Meghan tied the knot a few months earlier. The Duke and Duchess of York got a divorce when Eugenie was just six. Andrew, who is currently seventh in line to the throne, and Ferguson had known each other since they were young and married on July 23, 1986 at Westminster Abbey. However, the marriage deteriorated and after announcing their separation in 1992, they officially divorced in 1996. The former couple are also parents to Princess Beatrice, now 30, and decided to share custody of their two children following the split. However, it has been argued that Ferguson was shunned by the royal family after the separation. The Duchess had engaged in a series of activities that were thought to have brought embarrassment upon the monarchy. In August 1992, a few months after Andrew and Ferguson announced their breakup, the Daily Mirror published photographs of the Duchess. She was pictured sunbathing topless with American financier John Bryan. In some of the images he appeared to be sucking her toes. It has been claimed that Andrew's late aunt, Princess Margaret, wrote a letter to her, stating, You have done more to bring shame on the family than could ever have been imagined. Ferguson also said that she got just £15,000 a year in her divorce settlement. However, the Sunday Telegraph later reported that she actually received £3 million, and the Duchess faced further scandal in the years following the end of the marriage. In 2010, an undercover journalist from the News of the World recorded the now 59-year-old royal apparently offering access to her ex-husband for a price of £500,000. That opens up everything you would ever wish for. The Duchess allegedly said, I can open any door you want. Look after me and he'll look after you. You'll get it back tenfold. Ferguson has continued to live with her ex-husband, 58, over the years since their divorce. He's still my handsome prince, he'll always be my handsome prince, she said in a 2013 interview. We believe in being good parents for our girls. In our everyday, we really respect each other and we honor each other. And in a sign that Ferguson has indeed been welcomed back into the fold. She began to be invited to Balmoral again that same year. According to reports, Prince Philip doesn't like to be around her and avoids her during visits to the Scottish estate. But now, Eugenie's wedding photo has suggested that the rumored feud could be behind them. Reports suggest that Ferguson has once again become part of the extended royal family. And it does rather seem as if the official wedding portrait confirms that. It shows the Duchess beaming while standing beside Philip and Andrew with the Queen also close by. It is highly significant, and could be a step to ending the feud, Phil Dampier, a royal commentator, told The Sun. It shows Sarah Ferguson right at the center of the royal family once again and will only fuel rumors that she and Prince Andrew might one day remarry. Most significantly, she is standing right next to Prince Philip, who hasn't spoken to her in more than 20 years. This is, in fact, the first time that Philip and Ferguson have posed for a photograph together in over 25 years. And website page 6 states that he has refused to publicly acknowledge her in any way since 1992. Dampier explained that the Duchess has had to leave Balmoral before Philip's arrival during her visits. Philip, once called, Ferguson, odd and pointless and would not be in the same room as her, 
Dampier said. He blamed her for bringing shame on the royal family and could not understand why Andrew let her move back in with him at Royal Lodge, his home at Windsor, when they had been divorced for so many years. However, it is now claimed that tensions have finally thawed between the two royals. The pair may even have had a conversation during the wedding reception at Windsor Castle. Dampier believes that the family celebration, along with Philip's great age, could well have led to them deciding to put years of animosity behind them. He added that Ferguson will, no doubt, be grateful to see a shift in the monarchy's perception of her. Philip would not have wanted to cause bad feeling at the wedding and upset his granddaughter, Eugenie, Dampier said. But maybe, at 97, he has decided that life is too short to continue bearing Ferguson ill will. She will be relieved that she is no longer a figure of ridicule and has been shown compassion and respect by Philip in posing with her. There is, in fact, speculation that Andrew and Ferguson could marry a second time. Earlier this year, the Duchess shared a photo from Royal Ascot, where she spent time with Beatrice, Andrew and the Queen. Great day with my family, she posted on Instagram alongside the picture. Eugenie once described her parents as the best divorced couple that she knows. Despite separating over 25 years ago, and in 2017 Ferguson told an Australian radio show that she sometimes forgets that they are no longer together. We are divorced to each other right now, she said. We've never really left each other. Ferguson seems closer to the royal family now than she has been in decades. But even if that was not the case, she would still be able to remarry Andrew. In fact, the Royal Marriages Act dictates that only the first six people in line to the throne need permission from the Queen to wed. And that leaves the door open should the Duke and Duchess of York decide to retie that knot. Thank you for watching video.